naturally for killing things. I like it as a sport. But what I like most of all is to set an arrow free, like it were a bird. You know, when it gets far up in the sky, whee, you watch it. And it suddenly turns and drops. What is it that fascinates us about that? Because it's not useful. It doesn't really achieve anything that we would call purposive work. It simply is what we call play. But in our culture, we make an extremely rigid division between work and play. You are supposed to work in order to earn enough money to give you sufficient leisure time for something entirely different called having fun or play. Imagine, too, if you were a bus driver. Bus driver is ordinarily, ordinarily considered an absolutely harassed person. He's got to watch out for all the laws, all the competing traffic, uh, the cops, the people coming on board giving their fares, and he has to give them change. And if he has it in his head that this is work, it will be hell. But let's suppose he has a different thing in his head. Supposing he has the idea that moving this enormous conveyance through complicated traffic is a very, very subtle game. And he has the same feeling about it that you might have if you were playing the guitar or uh, dancing. And so he goes through that traffic, avoiding this and avoiding that, and taking a fare like this, and he, he makes a music of the whole thing. Well, he's not going to be tired out at the end of the day. He's going to be full of energy when he gets through his job. The art of washing dishes is that you only have to wash one at a time. If you're doing it day after day, you have in your mind's eye an enormous stack of filthy dishes which you have washed up in years past and an enormous stack of filthy dishes which you will wash up in years future. But if you bring in your mind to the state of reality, which is, is as I've pointed out to you, only now, this is where we are. There is only now. You only have to wash one dish. It's the only dish you'll ever have to wash. This one. You ignore all the rest. Because in reality, there is no past and there is no future. There is just now. So you wash this one. And instead of thinking, have I got it really clean, as my mother taught me with an angry voice, that I had to get every little scrap of it, you know, and she got, <coughs> got angry at me. Instead, you turn the cleaning movement into a dance. Like this. And you dig that. And you swing that plate around. And you let the rinsing water go over it. And you put it off in the rack. Crazy. See? Take the next one. And you get this rhythm going. See? And you... You're not under compulsion all the time. You know, when I was a little boy and went to school in England, I had to learn the piano. They called it playing the piano. But actually, they said you must play. We had in England compulsory games. They used to post notices on the bulletin board in the school where I went which said, uh, this afternoon, everyone will go for a run. And if you didn't go for a run, and you, it was found out that you hadn't, you were flogged. So everybody hated going for a run. Because they were under compulsion to play. Everybody must play. 